G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Voyager the Second here. Today we are back with another episode of International Public Transport Showcases. In today's episode, we are going to look at a new high-speed railway line which will connect the two cities of Dubai and Abu Dhabi, which are the two largest cities in the United Arab Emirates. This is stage one of the high-speed rail project which will encompass the southern coast of the Persian Gulf, eventually linking high-speed rail with the cities of Doha and Kuwait. Stage 1 of the project is a 140 km long standard gauge double track high-speed rail with an initial running speed of 275 km per hour but will have the potential to run at a speed of 300 km an hour but the rolling stock will be capable of, to, of reaching speeds of 400 km per hour. Even if the speed is still a slow 275 km per hour, you can still commute the 140 km journey between the two cities in as short as 45 minutes instead of the 90 minutes by car. This also means that the line will be served by regular daily commuters and not just the tourists who only have their one-off ride on the high-speed rail. This will allow the two cities to be more environmentally friendly with their transport and to provide a higher capacity transport option which will carry the same capacity as the, as the E11 highway between Dubai and Abu Dhabi which is the main transport artery between the two cities. In this line there will be express, limited stops and all stop services. Limited stop services will mean that there will be only train stopping at one or two intermediate stops between Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Now I don't need to explain express or all stops because you know the stopping pattern of those services anyway. So without further ado, let's begin the showcase at Dubai. The northern end of the terminal is going to be adjacent to the Burj Khalifa which is the world's tallest tower and it will also serve the metro station. And which, so, and in this station you can change trains at this station and we plan to have six platforms in this new station so that we can accommodate plenty of trains to run services on Abu Dhabi, Qatar and Kuwait. Now once the trains depart this station they will accelerate to a speed of 225 kilometers per hour running parallel on the western side of E11. There will be parts that will include tunnels and bridges. Otherwise, highway lanes and interchanges need to be rearranged to accommodate for the track. Now, our next stop is Jumeirah Station, which is near the Palm Jumeirah, and it will serve this skyscraper concentrated area in Dubai. In, 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 and also, it will also serve not just the skyscraper area but it will also serve the Dubai metro station called Dubai Marina and also it will serve the light rail which runs along this Dubai Marina right here. Now some trains will stop at this station, some others don't. It's just that you can decrease commuting times between the stations. Now trains will continue at a speed of 225 kilometers an hour still on the western side of the expressway. Now there's going to be one more stop in Dubai called Jebel Ali station where you can change for this for a metro station for the metro station on the southern end of the Dubai metro and also on the southern end of Dubai itself. This will serve the future Palm Jebel Ali and also and eventually the Dubai waterfront which will encompass half of the Palm Jebel Ali. It's going to be around here and it will it will pop up there in the future. Now from Jebel Ali the high speed railway line will cross the highway and now run on the southeastern side of E11 through a tunnel and also, at the same time, trains will accelerate to a speed of 275 kilometers an hour, which is the maximum speed on this line. 
and it will only run at this speed due to the small sharp curves parallel to E11 as well as also the short proximity between the next station and the previous one. Even if it goes at 300 kilometers an hour, the time travel between Abu Dhabi and Dubai won't make much of a difference because it will still beat the cars on the road. Now this is pretty much straightforward. Uh, so let's actually, yeah, there's the intersection that we're gonna, and that's just pretty much straightforward until we get to this intersection. In this interchange, uh, the high speed railway lines will branch off. The one going straight and parallel to E11 will continue to Doha and Kuwait with speeds of 400 kilometers per hour, but that will be for another episode. But today, we will focus on this branch, which will continue to Abu Dhabi. The Abu Dhabi branch will have a maximum speed of 180 kilometers an hour, and will run most and will run parallel with E10 all the way to Abu Dhabi. There's going to be a stop at Mazda City right there, which will eventually serve this waterfront as well as the new futuristic Mazda city as well as maybe even the international airport right here. The line will remain at a speed of 180 kilometers an hour but once it reaches this curve trains will decelerate to 120 kilometers an hour. It will run mostly as a viaduct on the northern side of E10 and it's pretty much straightforward but once we get to this part uh, I'll come there yep once we reach this intersection the line will run on the center of the avenue known as Sheikh Zayed Avenue due to the and it will run on the center and not on the side due to the presence of skyscrapers on both sides of the avenue the, the line will make its last leg before it reaches Abu Dhabi Terminal. And Abu Dhabi ter Terminal is going to serve Downtown Abu Dhabi and Greater Abu Dhabi. And now, I did see Webio's Abu, uh, Abu Dhabi Metro, but it was deleted due to the copyright reasons and I have no idea why it would be that way. I think it had to do with the naming. But yes and so it would have been great if he kept that so that they would have seen the proposal to connect Abu Dhabi with the rest of the city downtown Abu Dhabi with everywhere else and now today and that's it for today folks so um now we got some now we got a few announcements um, Next week, I'll be getting Transport Fever, and that will be the start of my gaming series. And I'll be playing some Transport Fever for you, ladies and gentlemen. And then that's and that's how I'm going to start my gaming, my real gaming career. I might also do some City Skylines, and I don't know, maybe I might get other games, or maybe just play some simple games like Minecraft. And also, if you've watched my videos from last week, you would have seen there was a high-speed railway line between Helsinki and St. Petersburg, but, and I mentioned how it's going to extend to Moscow eventually, but the Moscow to St. Petersburg high-speed rail has been cancelled, so I will not be doing that project, due, um, for the main reason is that it may not attract much viewers. Otherwise, if it's if it, if it should help, then maybe I can upload it next week. Otherwise, I'll be doing other projects, such as extending this high-speed railway line. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and favorite the video. I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.